What if I told you that one of the biggest threats to solar energy isn't political opposition or even cost? It's something far simpler. It's ice falling from the sky, shattering expensive infrastructure in seconds. Every year, hailstorms are costing the solar industry millions in damages, insurance claims, and lost energy production. But now, scientists have discovered a breakthrough. And it isn't some high-tech, expensive overhaul. It's a remarkably simple change. So small, most people wouldn't think it matters. Yet it could revolutionize how solar energy survives in a changing climate. Stick around until the end, because this tiny adjustment could save you thousands, protect future solar farms, and change how we build the world's clean energy infrastructure. Solar panels are sold as long-term investments. Buy once and enjoy decades of clean, free electricity. But there's a weak spot that's become impossible to ignore, hail. Across the United States and other parts of the world, hailstorms have grown in strength and frequency. Panels designed for sunny days are now facing violent, fast-moving ice balls falling from the sky. In 2023, Nebraska saw one of the worst hail-related solar losses in history. Entire farms were knocked offline, tens of thousands of panels destroyed, insurance companies overwhelmed. And yet, many of those panels appeared undamaged to the naked eye. That's the real danger. Micro fractures, tiny, invisible cracks caused by hail impacts don't always break the glass, but they begin a slow, irreversible decline in performance. Over time, those fractures create hotspots, reduce energy efficiency, and shorten the life of the entire system. This brings us to a fascinating experiment. A team of researchers set out to answer a basic question. Could thicker glass actually protect solar panels better from hail? To find out, they built three types of panels, each with a different glass thickness, 2.8 millimeters, 3.2 millimeters, and 4 millimeters. Then they simulated a hailstorm, not just dropping ice from a rooftop, but launching hailstones at speeds between 23 and 34 meters per second. That's the real world impact velocity seen in major storms. The results were startling. The 2.8 mm panels suffered catastrophic losses, over 21% reduction in power output. The 3.2 mm panels, which are the current industry standard, didn't do much better, losing nearly 12% of output. But the 4 mm panels, they experienced just over a 1% reduction in power. That's practically nothing in comparison. And while there were surface micro fractures, the internal structure remained intact. In other words, the energy kept flowing. All of this from a glass thickness difference of just 0.8 millimeters. To understand why this matters, we have to look at the cost of ignoring the problem. In Pecos County, Texas, one hailstorm caused damage estimated at 65 million euros. That's just one storm, one solar farm, one day. Now scale that up. Solar adoption is exploding across the globe. More panels are being installed in areas with unpredictable weather. And most of them still rely on the 3.2 mm standard. Insurance companies have noticed. In high-risk zones, policies are now being rewritten. Deductibles are going up. Some companies are excluding hail damage entirely. If your panels aren't built to handle these storms, you may not be covered. Thicker glass isn't just about weather protection, it's a financial strategy. It means fewer repairs, less downtime, and a longer lifespan for your system. The upfront cost is slightly higher, but the long-term savings, both in avoided damage and retained efficiency, are significant. What makes this issue more dangerous is that most people won't realize their panels are failing until it's too late. After a hailstorm, your panels might look perfectly fine. But beneath the surface, microscopic cracks begin to disrupt the flow of electricity. These cracks create resistance. Resistance leads to heat. Heat forms hotspots. And those hotspots 
slowly cook the panel from the inside out. You'll start to notice a gradual drop in output, a few percent here, a few percent there. Over months and years, it adds up to real losses. And unlike a cracked phone screen, you won't see it happen. You'll just wonder why your energy savings are shrinking. Some might argue that 4mm glass is unnecessary, that it's over-engineering. But this isn't about luxury. It's about smart investment. Think of it like building a house with better windows in a storm zone. It costs a little more, but it saves you from disaster. Or choosing a laptop with better cooling. The extra money protects performance and longevity. The same logic applies to solar. When you're spending thousands on a system expected to last 25 years or more, why wouldn't you spend a tiny bit extra to ensure it survives what nature throws at it? And here's the key. It's not just about hail. Stronger glass also means better protection from debris, heavy rain, sudden temperature changes, and windborne materials. It builds a buffer between your energy system and the chaos of the outside world. This breakthrough is already having ripple effects across the industry. Forward-thinking installers are recommending 4mm panels in regions that experience regular hail. Some manufacturers are adjusting their designs, and material scientists are taking things even further. Researchers are now exploring glass composites that combine strength and flexibility. Others are working on invisible coatings that repel impact while maintaining full sunlight transmission. Some teams are even developing self-healing materials that close micro-fractures before they spread. In the next five years, we may see solar panels that are not only weatherproof, but smart, detecting and responding to damage in real time. But until then, the easiest step forward is still the simplest, stronger glass. If you're considering solar or already have panels on your roof, now is the time to ask questions. What kind of glass is being used? Has it been tested for hail resistance? Are there options to upgrade to 4 mm? Don't assume that just because panels are rated for storms, they're built for long-term durability. Many industry standards are outdated based on historical weather that no longer applies in a world shaped by climate change. Your installer should be able to walk you through the options. And if they can't, that's a red flag. The lesson here is simple. Sometimes the biggest breakthroughs don't come from radical redesigns. They come from small, overlooked details. A single millimeter of glass. It doesn't sound like much, but in real-world conditions, it can mean the difference between a panel that survives and one that fails, between a functioning solar farm and millions in losses, between a strong investment and a system that quietly breaks down. As we move toward a future powered by renewable energy, we need solutions that are not just sustainable, but resilient. Solutions that can face not just sunny days, but storms too. And that future might just start with a little more glass. Thanks for watching. If this helped you see solar energy differently, share it. Because the more people understand how to protect their clean energy systems, the stronger our entire grid becomes.